In this video I will show you some applications of matrices. So first let us read this problem example 1 the sum of 3 digits is 6. So you will get this equation let us consider 3 digits x y and z. So from this sentence you can create this equation if we multiply the third, third number by 2 and add the first number to the result we get 7 it means this equation by adding second and third numbers to the second and third numbers to the three times of the first number we get 12 using matrices find the numbers so it's just like before according to the question you will first need to create this linear system and you need to then solve this linear system by matrix method what we did in my previous lecture you can watch the previous lecture again and try to solve this system linear system by matrix method to get the values of x y and z the result will be 3 2 and 1 3 1 and 2 respectively let us look in this problem. A problem is that there are food as A, B, C, and there are food in the nutrients as P, Q, R. Now, the question is you, to get 8 ounces of P nutrients, 5 ounces of Q, and 7 ounces of R nutrients, how to form a mixer? by using three kinds of food a b c let's say we need uh, x pounds of food a y pounds from of food b and z pounds of food c therefore according to the question we can create three equation x plus 3y plus 4z equal to 8 since we want 8 ounces of P nutrients and second by using this column we can create second equation 2x plus y plus 2z equal 5 ounces of Q we need which is equal to 5 and by using th third column we can create similarly third equation now we can solve this linear system by using matrix method to get x y z like the way I did in my previous lecture that will be 1 1 and 1 so in the mixer the mixer is formed by mixing one pound of each foods one pound of a one pound of b and one pound of c in this problem there are two families a and b uh, in family A, four men, six women, and two children. In family B, two men, two women, and four children. The recommended daily allowance for calories is for men this, for women this, for children this. For protein is respectively this, this gram and this gram. Represent the above information by matrices. Use matrix multiplication. Calculate the total requirement of calories and proteins for each of two families. So first you need to create a matrix for the family members. In family 1, family A, 4 men, 6 women, 2 children. In family B, 2, 2, 4. So D is a matrix which contains members, family members. Now you need to create another matrix which contains calories and protein of men, women and children. You see men, women and children. Calories and protein. So the total calories and protein to calculate you now need to multiply 
this row and this column to get the total calories in family A and to get the total proteins in family B you need to multiply this one and this one. So the result of DE product DE will give us total calories in family A and B which is this and this and total proteins in family A and B and that what we need to calculate. In this example uh, use matrix multiplication we need to divide 30,000 into two parts so that the first part will give us 9% interest second part will give us 11% interest and total interest is required this now the question is how how uh, how much money you need to invest in two parts let's say you need to invest in part 1 x taka and in part 2 you need to invest so 30000 minus x by using this principal amount you can calculate uh, you can create a matrix A that will be row matrix since in the product case we can multiply a row and a column so your first matrix will be a row matrix and second one will be a column matrix for the interest 9% interest and 11% interest since part A give us 9% interest so you need to multiply x into 9% and part B give us 11% interest so you need to multiply this and this and the total result will be the total interest you want to receive each year so by solving this equation now you can calculate x that will be 12,000 it means you need to invest 12,000 taka in part A part 1 and the remaining 18,000 taka in part 2 to receive 3060 taka each year as interest. Example 5 will be exactly same like example 4. You need to divide uh, 50,000 or you need to invest 50,000 in two types of bonds. The first bond will give us 5% interest and second bond pay us 6% interest. The total interest you want to receive this amount. So your first equation, your first matrix will be a row matrix that will be for your principal amount and second part will be rate of interest that will be a column matrix. Now if you multiply A and B you will get total interest but according to the question total interest is this amount so you can write this equal to this solving this you can calculate x that will be 20,000 taka so 20,000 taka you need to invest in first bond and second bond in the second bond you need to invest 28,000 taka Problem 6. A manufacturer produces three products PQR and the total sales volume in two markets, market 1 and market 2, is this. In market 1, 10,000 product P, 2,000 of product Q, and 18,000 of product R. This is the sales volume. Similarly, in market 2 is this. Now the question is, what is the total revenue in each market? If the selling price per unit respectively is this. So you need to create a row metric first by using sales price uh, per unit sales price, which is this. And then the total sales volume in two markets. This is for market 1 and this is for market 2 is apnar eta ke ei row ta ke ekhane column kore nite hobe karon market 1 
you need you want to multiply this row and this column and you can a market to a total sales volume ke column a karadik tabe jato kore apni a row the a column ke gun kutte pare so the obtained result will give us total sales volume in two markets this one is market one and this one is market two and similarly the unit cost price for the above three commodities respectively this so similarly if you multiply this the previous matrix by the row matrix of per unit cost price then you will get total cost in market one and in market two so the total profit in each market will be in market one will be this amount minus this amount because this is the total revenue this is the total cost so total profit will be this amount minus this amount this should be market instead of a it will be market one and market two in market two it will be 552,000 minus 41,200 which is this this is how you can solve this problem and the next one is exactly same the way you solve problem 6 you can try to solve example 8 by yourself you can also try to solve example 11 by yourself this is exactly same of this one so that's all in this video hope you enjoy the class and hope to see you in my next videos thank you very much for your watching